Fiona. Uh, it's nice to be here. Um, I, uh, I, I really like lying on the sofa watching telly, right? You know, just lying on the sofa. My spirit animal's a sloth. <laughs> I like to channel that. Honestly, I've sat there and watched my phone battery die because my charge is there. <laughs> And one of my favorite things to watch is documentaries. And I, and I love watching Stacey Dooley. Right, Stacey Dooley, right? She, she gets sent to some dangerous places on the planet, you know? She's talked to some desperate people and she comes out with deeply insightful comments like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is rabble. <laughs> I don't know if any of you saw this. This is a trick. This is a true story. She was, she, she was doing a documentary. She was sent to Colombia to visit a jail, right? And um, when she was in there, she was talking to this guy, and he was in there because he murdered his own wife. And he said to Stacey, like, if you don't see your wife or girlfriend again, it's because she did something wrong. And this is why Stacey is so amazing. She's just a top journalist. She looked him right in the eye, and she said, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> And then she turned to the camera and said, remind me never to go out with a Colombian. <laughs> and they kept it in. They kept it in. You can look it up. But I love accents. I love her accent. I like dialects and I love accents. But there's a new one around, right? And it's not really an accent. Does this sound familiar? You know, when you're on your Instagram and you're looking at everything and do you, do you recognize this kind of voice? Welcome to Life Saving Salads. If you love Greek salad, you have to try this. It's to die for. <laughs> what is that? Well, they didn't wake up in the morning talking like that. It's vocal fry. That's what it's called. And it's really catching on everywhere. Can you imagine if that sort of becomes a thing where I come from? Do you fancy a fryer? <laughs> <laughs> have you got any HP sauce? <laughs> It's all right, we'll just go to co-op. <laughs> a little thing about me, right? I've worked out something about myself. I'm really quite flexible with my hate, and I'll explain this, right? When I'm driving, I really hate cyclists. You know, because they're quite arrogant, aren't they? And they think they own the road. But then when I'm on my bike, I think, you know what? I really hate drivers. Because they're really arrogant, and they think they own the road, right? And then when I'm a pedestrian and I'm trying to cross the road, I'm like, God, I hate drivers and I hate cyclists. They're all arrogant. They all think they own the road. And one day I was just sitting, minding my own business on a park bench, and a lady came and sat right next to me. And I looked at her and I thought, you know what? I don't hate cyclists. I don't hate drivers. I don't hate pedestrians. It's people. <laughs> it's people. Who does she think she is? <laughs> Sitting there, arrogant, like she owns the bench just because her husband's name's on the plaque. Ooh. <laughs> I've been Fiona Allen, thank you very much. <laughs>